Good afternoon, everybody. This is Monday the 13th. This is Mike B., the Silver Devil, the Dark God of the Clippa, and you are in the Temple of the Backwards Tree, the Temple of Sitrakra. Welcome. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about something that we call in the business Claire Audience. Okay? Claire Audience is one of several Claire senses, such as clairvoyance, uh, clairsentience, uh, and so on and so forth. But clairaudience in my book is, is about the most important one that there is because we use it day in and day out in my practice. Okay, uh, what is it, first of all? It is a sense, like you're hearing, like you're hearing me right now, except you're not going to hear me with your ear. You're going to hear me with your mind, okay? Um, and it's not always going to be words like I'm speaking to you right now. You might get... Let me go backwards. Let me go backwards. All right. Think of your think of your mind. Think of your head as like uh, kind of like an antenna. Okay. And this picks up messages uh, that are not from here. Uh, you, we all, we all hear spirits all the time, but we aren't aware of it. Number one and number two, we aren't aware of how to distinguish our own internal dialogue. Uh, from that of spirit communication and that's the biggest problem okay uh so let's talk about that for a minute uh a lot of times people will mistake their own thinking with that of the spirit's thought and we see some heinous shit happen in the media like uh awful crimes 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 that you look at and just say dude what the fuck were you thinking are you serious like what could have possibly been going through your head well, guys, that's a, that's a cue for people like me and people that are in this business long enough. We, we know what happened, okay? Almost always, a spirit got in there and started blah, 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 and the person thought it was their own thinking, okay? That's what happened, all right? A spirit has absolutely no problem mimicking your internal dialogue. So really, if you don't know what thoughts you willed into existence and what thoughts you created, you have no way to know whose thoughts you're listening to. That's a scary thought, isn't it? And it's the truth. Okay. So, okay. All right. So now, for me and for a lot of us, uh, developing clear audience doesn't have to be something that requires endless years of third eye openings and, and chakral openings and, and hours and hours and hours of, of meditation and years and years of this and that. Guys, that, that's crap. None of that shit worked for me. I'm going to be straight up with you. None of that shit worked for me. I tried all of that shit. I went through all of it. I did all of Robert Bruce's stuff. I did, I did all of it. And I love Robert Bruce. Don't get me wrong. I love Robert Bruce. But it didn't work for me the way that I wanted it to. So I had to come up with a way based on an author by the name of Ophiel. Ophiel, if you haven't ever read any of his stuff, Ophiel is absolutely fantastic for practical how to, uh, how to do something. Ophiel is the man. Ophiel is hugely underrated, underappreciated. Uh, people, people really, this, in this day and age, they don't really be knowing Ophiel like they should. And Ophiel is the man. So I suggest that you really get into his book on Astral Projection and the other books that he has because he has some really hard-hitting stuff uh, that was really practical and really usable, and I really recommend that to you. I developed a method, and I have trained several magicians in this, and it's worked every single time, provided that they followed my instructions. If they followed my instructions, then they got their clear audience, just like I said they would. It comes in measured, steady progression, but it happens, okay? I don't have the time on this video to share that method with you, but I'm going to leave a link to that method that is listed in the uh, Occult Mirror Forum in my great grimoire that I have been putting together over a long period of time. I'm going to link you the chapter so that you can see for yourself what the method is. Okay? Uh, it's not hard. It doesn't require a whole... It requires about six to eight months of three times a week work. It, it requires about 90 minutes of work per week. And if you're not willing to do that, then I can't help you. I'm sorry. We just have to find another way that works for you. Uh, but if you do have 90 minutes per week and you can do it, I can guarantee you success. 
I mean, I can't guarantee it. Like, like here's your money back guarantee. I can't give you back six to eight months of your life. But I know if you do what I say, it will work. Because it's worked for so many other people. Why wouldn't it work for you? Of course it would. All of us have the clear audience abilities. It is our... It is latent faculties buried in our mind, okay? It's like a muscle that you've never used before. You're learning how to use it. That's really the secret here, okay? So it's like this. When I hear Prince Aerobus, I learned how to distinguish Prince Aerobus's voice from other spirits. And I can feel Prince Aerobus's vibration coming in like this into my skull. And I know when I hear Prince Oribus that the thought originates from about out here. And it comes in about here. And I can tell, I, I don't even need that now. Now I just know the tone of voice and everything. Uh, but that's how I learned that. King Bale came in over here. So different spirits are going to communicate different ways. I know immediately who I'm hearing. When you ask a spirit a question, this is really, really big. I want to I get this into you right now. This is really, really big. When you ask a spirit a question, you can do it either verbally or mentally. I prefer, and I'm, I'm going to recommend to you, that you do it verbally also. Okay, Because when you're asking a spirit that you have contact with a question, like during evocation, Prince Orobus, uh, what do you think of X, Y, or Z? Before I even finish that question, I'm going to get about three quarters of the way through that question. And Prince Orobus is going to jump in and interrupt my question with his answer. That right there, guys, is like the hallmark of, of genuine spiritual communication. It's going to be so fast, it nearly interrupts the question that you're asking with the answer. Okay. You don't need to think about the answer. If you're thinking about the answer, that's your internal dialogue. You're not hearing clear audience. You're, you're not doing it right. This is something that comes so fast, you can't possibly make it up. You can't possibly put the sentence together faster than it comes in. Okay, That's how you know you're hearing a spirit. All right, That's how you know. Um, let me tell you what the meditations and stuff are good for, okay? Okay, there is a place for meditation in my system, and, it, and yes, it has a place. Let me explain. You need to go through, I would tell you, Franz Bardon's Initiation into Hermetics about the first three chapters, okay? Where you focus on observing your thoughts, keeping an empty mind, etc., etc. These are exercises that you build in ability through repetition, all right? You're exercising a muscle that you haven't used before. These are great because now you know what thought you actually created and willed into existence within your own mind and what thoughts are just spiritual babble on your periphery. Now you know that you don't have to buy into that spiritual peripheral shit if you don't want to. You can just tell it, hey, man, I don't want to hear that. And you don't. Now, certain medications, certain psychological impairments or conditions, certain pharmaceutical recreational drugs will all play with clear audience. All right. Now, do not get it twisted. Mike B is not telling you to go out and get high on anything illegal. Mike B is not telling you to do anything illegal. Don't don't get it misunderstood. What I'm saying is that these substances these conditions or these illnesses can actually be stimulating parts of clear audience prematurely like you're hearing voices you can't control you can't make them stop a lot of times that's clear audience that's clear audience opening up i know a lot of magicians that nearly went crazy when their clear audience was opening up because they couldn't control it all right that's why the method that i'm going to give you in the comments section here today, I'm going to list it off for you. You're not going to have that problem. You're going to have a nice, even, orderly development uh, without any side effects. You're not going to go crazy. You're not going to lose your shit. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you've got an existing mental illness, you shouldn't be messing, messing with any of this. All right? You should be following the instructions from your doctor and doing what you're supposed to do to keep that under control. This, this may imbalance that in a way that I'm not aware of how... 
I'm not aware of the ramifications, so I don't want you to get the wrong information from me. That's the last thing I want. The last thing I want is for you to get the wrong information from me. I'm only telling you what I know works and has worked for other people. So I want you to I want you to have that. Now I'm gonna have to close this video because I got about ten or twelve minutes on this phone. I got one of those Vivos that doesn't have a whole lot of internal memory, so like uh, I get about 10, 12, 15 minutes tops on a video before it cuts me right off. So we're getting to that line right now. I'm going to give you the method that I use and I train with. Um, and if you're willing to devote six to eight months to it, two to three times a week, 90 minutes a week, you're, you're going to get clear audience. And it's great. Now, there are other methods to working with the spirit that do not involve clear audience, that involve pendulums, that involve tarot cards and we're going to talk about that later on this week okay we're going to have a session on that this week anyway thank you for joining me um i'm going to give you the link now and uh we'll see you again on wednesday thanks a lot for coming take care